So in this video, we are going to discuss about rule for implies implication. Like uh, when are you going to insert an implies and when are you going to eliminate an implies? So first, implies insertion. See when uh, while deriving something, if you start with some proposition. And applying the natural uh, direction, if P derives to Q, then we can write the statement as P implies Q. Okay, we started some way by applying some of the natural deduction rule or with the given premises, if you are able to uh, make the substitution and finally derive to a place of Q, Q is a proposition, then you can write P implies Q. And when you want to eliminate this implies, okay, so given a statement P implies Q and given that P is also valid. Okay, so P implies Q is given. So if P is present, then Q and the P is present. So it derives to Q. So to understand this example, I'll just give one example uh, or to understand this uh, proposition, I'll give one example. So if the statement P tends to if it rain, it rains and Q is street get wet. Okay, so the proposition of the statement is if it rains, then street get wet. Okay, and given proposition, so this is valid. It is valid in the sense like if it rains, surely the street will get wet. So this is a valid statement and also it is given that it is raining now. So when it is raining, then surely the street will get wet, right? So Q is also valid. So that is the statement. If it rains, then street get wet and it is raining. So given that these two statements are valid, then surely the street will get wet. Okay, so this is implies elimination. So now with this example, we are going to like, I'll, I'll show you, I'll take two proposition and show you how it is actually working. So first proposition is like, um, let me just take this. P and Q implies R. P implies Q implies R. Now we have to prove that with this premises, we have to prove this is valid. Okay, so first, what is the given premises? P and Q implies R. So this is the given premises. Now I want to eliminate this and and implies, so I cannot directly uh, eliminate it. So I can directly uh, directly try to derive this. So I uh, take up with some assumptions. So I start with P and I'm going to start with this P as an assumption. Okay, I'm going to start with P is valid. And, say, and the next assumption is I'm going to start with Q is also valid. Okay, I start with two assumptions. One is P is valid, another one is Q is valid. Okay, so now we'll start deriving the statements here. If P is valid and Q is valid, then what we can write? P and Q is also valid. Those, this is your and insertion by combining two and three statements. When P is valid and Q is valid, I can derive to P and Q. Okay, so now consider the statement negation elimination P and Q is valid, right? So here it is the statement P and Q is there and P and Q implies R is also valid. So here it looks similar to this pattern, right? P implies Q and P is given. So here P and Q implies R and P and Q is given. So with this, what we can prove R is also valid, like this is implies elimination by combining statement one and four. Okay, so this actually derives to this, like based on this given premises, like we can make any number of assumption, but the derivation has to make through your given premises. Okay, so now combining all the statements, Okay, when I combine all the statements, I can write starting from Q by applying the given premises, it derives to R. See, start from one proposition by applying the natural deduction. So based on the premises, if you are able to derive some statement, we can write it as P implies Q. So now starting from Q, we are able to derive Q, R. So we can write it as Q implies R. So this is implies insertion from statement three to six. And now 
take this whole statement starting from this p assumption we have started with the assumption of p right take this whole statement now you can uh, derive it like starting from assumption p based on the natural deduction and applying some of the premises statement we are able to derive q implies r so how can you write it starting from p we are able to derive q implies r okay so this is also implies insertion So this says that it is implies insertion from statement two to seven. So finally, we derive to this given proposition. Okay, so this is one example where we have used implies insertion. How to insert your implies and prove it. Now next statement, I'll take one example, one more example that uses implies elimination. Okay, so let us consider the statement P. Statement actually, it is all propositions. P is valid. P implies Q is also valid. P implies Q implies R is also valid. So with this, I'm going to prove R. Okay, this is much simpler one. Like given three propositions, one is P, another one is P implies Q, another one is P implies Q implies R. So all these things are given. So these are all given premises. So now, I'm. I want to prove this R. So how can we prove this R? So first, we have to eliminate the implies. Okay. So first, P is given, and here also P is given. So P is given, and P implies Q implies R is also given. So using your implies elimination rule from statement one and three, you can write it as Q implies R. Right. Our next statement is, I have this Q implies R. So now combining these two statements, P and P implies Q, Using implies elimination from statement one and two, you can write it as Q. Right now, check these two statements are true. Q is valid, and Q implies R is also valid. So, with this two statement, by using implies elimination from statement four and five, you can write it as R. So, finally, we derive to this conclusion. So, this is how an implies insertion and implies elimination works. Okay, thank you.